just imagine your favorite song. It could be by anyone, Lil Baby, Sleepy Hollow, or even Snod. But now, imagine they stole that song. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> If the number one rapper is stealing X's flow, just imagine what the other rappers are doing. He even stole Hotline Blink. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you. I like to touch her. But anyways, today that's what I want to do. I want to see if these mainstream rappers are just stealing lyrics from the underground rappers. So let's get straight to it. I slap first, all I hear is fa fa fa. That's that Nick, nigga. Oh, oh, how did I forget? This one inspired the whole video. My friend told me Nardo Wick stole Kai Sanat's whole lyrics, bro. Let's watch that right now. What do you mean Nardo? What do you mean Nardo Wick stole my cat? Cat. It's cat, bro. It's cat. Bro, I can't lie, you kinda stole it. They just call me for the feature, my nigga! Well, that's Kai's fault. Bro was just holding the lyrics for so long until like last week or something. Bust out a rolling avalanche, hear my old bitch average. Bust out a rolling avalanche, hear my old bitch average. Bust out a rolling avalanche, hear my old bitch average. So apparently, Lil Uzi Vert thinks he can steal my song, my lyrics, and get away with it? What? Listen to these two songs and tell me he didn't steal my shit bar for bar. Like, yo, bro, that's cop damn. This shit gonna be tight. I said, oh my god, that's the girl that I want. Like, oh god damn. Bro, look at the days. This is such cap. If anything, you stole from Uzi. Yes! Bro really thought that we weren't gonna see the date. Like Uzi's song came out like what four years ago and this guy's song came out one year ago, bro. Polo G stole my song, everybody. Before you scroll, let me show you. June of 2021, Polo G dropped black and hard. October of 2020, Kid Kodiak dropped Don't Need Damn, You. Her name's Kid Kodiak? Nah, at that point, Polo G, you you get to steal a song. Oh! June of 2021. Polo G dropped black and hard. October of 2020, Kid Kodiak dropped Don't Need You. Now let's listen to the start of Black and Hard, shall we? Copyright, 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 copyright. That sounds really familiar to me, to be honest. Let's go to my song. And it starts like... Okay, so far beat sounding the same. Hmm. Same start. So you used my beat. Now let's check the flow. Polo G's. Copyright, 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 copyright. Now let's check out my flow. Different words, but let's check it. What's stopping me from believing that you literally recorded this song this morning in your kitchen, bro? In this case, I'm okay believing Capola. You're giving out no evidence, no proof, or no nothing. Stop letting mainstream artists steal from the little guys. Bro just wants us to believe his word. I'm not believing Kid Kodiak over Polo G. Okay, but Drake is low-key making your song better even though it sounds the same. Your song's literally giving Yabba Dabba Doo vibe. <laughs> Is this, bro? bro, the baby, you stole my song, bro. Mm -hmm. On everything I love, you stole my song. Bro, I made a song one week ago called the Sneaky Link Anthem, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Look, look, check this out, bro. Look, bro, Sneaky Link Anthem. Y'all see that? One week ago, I posted that. Bro, now this man, the baby, has a song called the Sneaky Link Anthem, bro. Oh my god, this man stole my whole flow word for word, bar for bar, bro. You really gonna steal my song, bro? Like, what the heck, bro? I used to listen to that one hit song, Shug. You, I like Shug. I didn't like nothing else. I liked that one, though, bro. And you really gonna steal my song like that, bro? I made the Sneaky Link Anthem. You trying to even use a sample how I used it? Hold up, hold up. And, bro, and you think... If you think, oh, how, how you see it? You only had 11,000 followers. How you think the baby's... <laughs> 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 Bruh, 
Bruh, thank you for saying this, bruh, because on everything I love, I know this man stole my song. I'm glad people I don't even know is from TikTok acknowledging that this man stole my song because I know I'm not crazy. My, like, this man stole my song, the baby, bro. You banned from Melbourne, bro. Don't even <laughs> bro, claim that. Bro, man's not even playing the song. He's literally just talking. I, I think he's trolling. Just a reminder that Yeet stole my song. <laughs> Bro, I should slap whoever made this video, bro. Like, you actually sound dumb. You didn't steal the song from saying one word. You don't own the word jump. Literally, the baby has a song called jump. 12 seconds later. Look what's happening to New York City right now. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look. Fat Punani by J. John. Oh, that nigga J. John. That's the that's the New York legend. J. Oh. John? I don't know who that New York legend is. I don't even think he is a legend. Even I'm from New York, I don't even know who he's from. Where's my mother? 6 9 got Punani too. I'm a love. Let's hear this one. Fuck Punani, I want fuck Punani, I want Punani, I want fuck. Hold up, let me hear, let me hear 6 9 hold up. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Shake it back. Punani, nani. Fat Punani, nani. Damn, it does sound the same, but Jay Jones, I'm sorry. 6 9 literally made a better version of your song, bro. Facts. It's facts, man. Okay, you guys, so allegedly Cardi B stole her song up. Y'all don't know who that is. I know y'all don't. That's Mr. Fontana, who also made his song, and Cardi B stole his lyrics. Does this sound familiar? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Cardi B did not steal any song. Just please stop talking. Later. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash like button and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. Toodles. No matter how much I put in the grind, was feeling like nothing would change. I had to wake up and smell the coffee because I was just stuck.